welcome you all to innovative amazing science with sunana i believe and i hope that you are doing great so am i my final exams were over and i was super super happy happiness was beyond control when my father said that you and your mama are going to visit aunt's place and spend some time there so me and my mama started to pack up the things and the very next day we boarded the bus the journey was about 10 hours and we just enjoyed thoroughly and how this 10 hours was going to get over we didn't had any clue because we were totally engrossed in our eating talking and all sorts of things but we were just away i would say one hour away from our destination suddenly the tires of the bus were punctured for me it was quite unique and interesting because i never had such an experience but for others it was really tiresome because it was a 10 hours journey and added to that they had to wait for some more time because to fix the tires and all but for me i thought let me just enjoy this moment so i just went down near, near the conductor man who was just fixing i just tried to observe what he was doing but it was taking a bit more time so i thought uh, let me just return back near my mama and sit because i was feeling very hot as it was 1 pm afternoon so my mama said be quiet and calm and sit so that you will not feel too hot so i just thought let me obey my mama so i was just sitting and i was just peeping out through the window i saw a man who was holding a basket and uh, maybe he was selling something so i just waved my hand so that he sees me and he comes near the bus so that i can buy something so he just saw me uh, waving at him and he just approached the bus the moment he approached the bus and the thing what he was selling was like the need of the hour because everyone was amazed and everyone was delighted to buy the thing i would say he was the savior and he he just uh, gave the thing what we wanted so it was a lovely experience and i was super happy and we enjoyed thoroughly and finally we reached our aunt's place it was a good experience and overall the journey was lovely so today i just thought let me share you with my activity although that was a thing which i had purchased but later i learned how to make that so i'm thinking that let me share my activity with everyone so that you all can keep that thing at home because it is a very essential item to be kept at every house are you ready let's get started so the things required are this is a wooden stick but if you don't have a wooden stick at home you can simply take plastic scale then this is self adhesive double sided tape i have taken this is the on off switch then you have the dc motor and it is of uh, 3 volt this is plastic fan blade then you have the batteries with a battery holder and these are the electrical wires and of course a pair of scissors so first what i'm going to do is i'll just take this adhesive tape okay I'll take this wooden stick and take this DC motor and I'm going to fix this over here like this it's super easy to stick and it is not messy can you see I've already stuck so next I'm going to take again this adhesive tape okay I'm going to stick it 
here I'll take this on off switch I'm going to fix it here see I have stuck this on off switch at the center And again, I'm going to take this tape. I'm going to keep this here. And I'll take these batteries along with the battery holder. And I'm going to fix it here. Yes. And now you can see all the three things are stuck to the wooden stick. So what I'm going to do next is I'll just take this wire and I'll cut it but before I cut it let me not waste this entire wire I'll just measure it from here to this DC motor to this battery holder roughly and I'll leave little bit extra and I'm going to cut it why I'm leaving this extra so that it is helpful for me to wind up so I'm going to cut this okay. So this is what I require. I'm going to keep this extra thing aside. And now if you observe carefully, you can see two wires. Okay, so now I'm going to separate the two wires. Here I go. Yes. Okay. So first I'm going to use one wire. So before I use this wire, let me just tell you, if you observe this battery along with the battery holder, the spring portion is the negative and this one is the positive terminal and this DC motor if you see this red color mark this is the positive and opposite is also the negative so what I'm going to do is okay so I'll just take this negative corner or the negative terminal of the DC motor I'll insert this wire and I'll twist this around okay I have fixed one end to the negative and the same wire I'm going to fix it I'm going to fix it to the negative terminal of the battery I'll just insert this in the hole which is provided and I'm going to twist it around okay I just So I'm going to insert in the negative end and twist it. Okay. So I have done. Can you see the negative end of this DC motor is connected to the negative end of the battery? Then I'm going to take this wire and I'll cut this wire into two pieces. Okay. I'll just remove this insulation so that it becomes easy for me to twist around from both the ends okay so my both the wires are ready so I'll take one of the wire and I'll take this this is the positive end, the red mark. So what I'm going to do is, I'll take this and insert it 
and again twist it around one side and I'll take the other end of the wire and this is the on off switch okay and it is switched off so I'm going to fix this wire to this part and I'm going to again twist it around okay see now I have fixed the positive part to this side and to the other end I'm going to take this wire I'll insert it again I'll twist it and the other end I'm going to put it in the positive end of this battery so now if you observe carefully all my connections are done and let us just test what is happening now the switch is off so before I test whether I have done the correct connections or whether my switches are working or not so what I have to do is I'll take this plastic fan blade and then I'm going to fix it here in the DC motor you've got a hole over here and you're going to just put it inside this and a little bit you have to tighten it okay see now I've done the fixing part so let's see the magic and what is happening I'm going to switch it on oh wow lovely so can you see how this fan blades are moving i can feel the breeze yes it's cool just to show you another thing i have this papers okay which i got from this adhesive tape the leftover so let us see whether this fan is capable enough to blow them off let's see can you see oh wow that's good so now I'm going to switch my fan off okay so when you saw that I switched it on and my connections were proper so it acted as a fan but if instead of attaching the wires uh, from the positive to the positive if I would have done a opposite connection then this fan would surely move but in an anti-clockwise direction so in that context it would act as a blower if you enjoyed the experiment do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos I can share your experience through an experiment. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.